because we're afraid to fail, because we're afraid to try, we don't never set that chief definite aim. What are you going after? What is your life about? Because we never do that, it's like we never see what the universe can do for us. At age, brothers. Man, we're getting ready to go into the year 2024. And if there is one thing that I want every single brother that watches this channel to do, it's stop watching others be great and start being great yourselves. Stop watching the game and start playing it. In other words, in other words, stop watching content all day. And instead, become the content. He'll become a content creator. Or, or become this, this thing you're obsessed with. In other words, if you're obsessed with watching, you know, car repair videos every day, painting body videos, uh, sports performance, then start that. Open that garage up. Open that tire shop up. Open that, that paint body shop up and start being the content. Like, stop watching it. Sisters, you too. Y'all watch these, hell, makeup tutorials and eyelash videos and, and, and hair did videos. It's like, if that's your passion, then, then open that salon. Open that, that business. Open that, uh, uh, in whatever, it, whatever it is you're into. Like, whatever you're consuming all day. All I'm saying is... Stop watching the content and start being the content. Find your own greatness. Find your own greatness. I know a lot of brothers talk about, you know what? I read this book. I read this book. I, like you read books every day. You're knocking out 15, 20 books per year. It's time you write one, brother. It's time you write one. You've, you've gathered enough information up to this point to say, you know what? I have my own theories. I have my own mindset. I have my own idea of what I believe about, about said genre or, or area. Like, let me make my own content. Let me write my own books. Let me build my own courses. Because I'm going to tell you, man, the majority of people are going to spend their whole lives on the sideline. On the sideline, watching the game, never getting in it. Taking enjoyment out watching everybody else do it. That ain't no way to live, man. That's not a way to live. And it's not even about, it's not even about becoming the next astronaut. It's not about becoming the next Elon or, or, or whoever. It's about just hitting your greatness. Your greatness. But like Brother Will said, the thing that's going to keep most people from getting there is that fear. That fear, fear is going to handicap the far majority of people. That fear, man, fear of what? So what, what, what do you mean? I, I'm not scared to, I'm not, I'm not scared to really move forward. Like I'll do it. You're scared of losing. That's one of the primary things you're, you're scared of losing. I'm going to say this because I get it. It's, it's very difficult to take, you know, the, 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 the eight, 10, 12 hours that you're, that you're putting toward, you know, you know, your job that, that, that seems like it has so much security in it. That job boys, it seems like that job is so secure. Oh, this big company you work for, oh, they just signed a, a 17 year deal with, with, with brand X. You, you think you good for the next, for the next 10 years. Brother, they'll let you go in a heartbeat. So a lot of people think that security is there. But anyway, it, it's, it's a challenge to have that false sense of security and say, you know what? Why would I leave this and bet on myself? Like I might lose. Like right now, man, I got a nice apartment. I got a nice crib. My car is paid for. My light's on. I can take my girl out. I, I can take my man to the, to, to the football games, whatever I want to do. Life is good right now. Why would I risk that? Why would I roll the dice? I'm going to tell you why. Because if you don't do it, by the time you find yourself on your deathbed, you'll regret it. 
not even your deathbed. By the time you, by the time in 10 years from now, you'll regret it. 15, 20 years from now, you'll regret it. But you have to stop fearing losing. You know, I might, I might end up homeless. I might end up, you know, this right here. I might have to sell all my stuff. I might have to back up and, and, and recalibrate. That's part of the game. I'm telling you, I'm telling you there's fulfillment in all of that. Once you swing for the fence, the wins, the losses, the challenges, all of it is fulfilling because now you're actually in the game. Think about watching the football game. It's good to sit on the sideline in a safe space. You know what I'm saying? You got, you, you got, you got your beanie on, you got your team colors on, you got your gloves on and just, and just comfortable watching. Even when your team is getting beat up out there, they're still having more fulfillment than you're having on the sideline. Even when, even when a team is on the field getting dusted, getting mopped, they're still having more fulfillment than the people on the sideline strictly because they're playing the game. And I'm telling you, man, I don't want to see my brothers and sisters live their whole lives and never put their foot on the field, man. Never put their foot on the field. But I'm telling you, man, you, you, have, to, you have to lose that fear of losing. Because you're going to take some L's. That, that's part of it. What team do you know that goes undefeated forever? You're going to take some L's, but I'm telling you that, that there's fulfillment in the L's too, man. It's like you're actually living. Swing for the fence. Swing. You know what? Some people, some people aren't scared of losing. Necessarily. It, it's not the actual L because... Because people take L's in life, period. A lot of people have gotten laid off from jobs or, or just situations, period, where a person has to back up and recalibrate. So it's not really the L's. It's more about, it's more about what people think. I'm going to tell you, that I believe, I believe this is handicapping, more, uh, handicapping people more than anything. And it makes me think about the book, uh, you squared where he talked about that and he ran through a few line items price picture. Is that worried about what everybody else thinks, man? Like you, 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 you might have to spend a season or two or three. Well, hell, you ain't doing no shopping. You ain't doing no clubbing. You ain't doing no vacations because all your money, all your energy is going toward, toward your new business, your new project, Right. And you're going to be like, man, well, if I can't buy the newest gear, if I can't buy the newest kicks, then, man, people going to think I'm, like I'm losing now. If you, if, you actually, if you actually start a business and that business struggles for a while or that, bi- or that first business even tanks, you might say, man, what, what are people going to say about What are they going to say about me, man? And that right there alone keeps you from moving forward. What are they going to say if I was making, you know, uh, uh, 120 on my job and now I have to back up and now I'm making 45, 55 for a year or two? What are they going to say about me, man, when I got when I got to sell the beans? What are they going to say about me when I have to sell the house and me and me and my wife move into this one bedroom apartment so, so we can start big, building our, our, our fortune? So we can start building real legacy. I'm telling you, man, you, you have to forget what, what you have to give. No, no, you can't give a damn, man. What, what anybody else thinks, bro. That's going to be a ball and chain on your ankle forever. And I'm really talking about any area in life, any area in life, man. You have to remove that ball and chain of what everybody thinks, brother, or, or you're, you're paralyzed. You're paralyzed, man. And I'm telling you, man, I, I just, I just want to see all my brothers, all my sisters, just step on the field, just, just play the game. You don't, you don't have to be a pro bowler. You don't have to be an NBA All Star. You don't, you don't have to shift the whole planet. Just be the best version of you. Hell, if making a hundred thousand, if making hundred fifty thousand dollars on your own business. It, it, it is all you hit and that's what you ride with for the next 20 years is yours. You, you own it. You can say, you know what? I swung for the fence and, and, and I won. I won, but don't, don't, don't not try brothers. Don't not try, man. But I'm telling you, man, this, this fear, 
this fear is what keeps everybody paralyzed. And when I say keep keeps everybody paralyzed, what I'm saying is that fear is what keeps a man from even setting a target. Not, not necessarily thinking of a target. For a lot of people, it keeps people from, from even thinking of a target. Like, you know what? I, I'm so stuck in this old zone. I, I'm so petrified of moving forward. I won't even allow myself to think about what I could do. I won't even allow myself to think about, you know, what I am good at and how to move forward in it. Like, there are a lot of people that won't even think about it. Like, like how dare you even think about it? You know what I'm saying? But then there are some people, man, that have the courage to have the thoughts to do the research, to become obsessed with the content on YouTube, to become obsessed with the people on Instagram that are doing it. Like, like, like they passed that initial threshold, but they can't, re- they can't really, re- really walk down that path of saying, you know what, let me, let me do it for myself. And it's that fear. They, they won't even set a target. They won't even set a target, man. You know, I remember asking uh, a good friend of mine and, and a guy that I actually call my mentor. You know, while I'm thinking about it, hey, uh, brothers, y'all, I got these uh, Be a Moto t-shirts. Uh, we're getting ready to close out the 2023 inventory, going to 2024 with different designs and the hoodies and the whole shebang. And, and we're uh, pushing out all the, uh, the 2023 merchandise. Definitely go to the website. I'll leave a link. Get your Be a Moto t-shirts. Represent, represent what you're walking on. Get your at ease t-shirt. Re- represent what you're walking on when you walk in the room, brothers. Uh, and again, I'll leave the link to that, man. But one of my brothers, man, I was asking him, because you know, we we talk all the time. And this is around when we first start, when we first met, man. And he would tell me about different plays he's called and different businesses and different, you know, ways to move and, and, and all these things. And one time, and one day we were talking about, he was just t- kind of telling me the story about when his life just really transitioned. Like when he was still, when he was still, you know, uh, 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 working, but he, he started moving in a different direction, you know, just before he started making the millions, man. And he's telling me the story and he's telling me the transition. And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, hold right there, brother. I said, that's what I want to know right there. I said, I said, tell me about what took place right there. When you went from being a common man, a common thinker to, to, to the version you are right now, Right. I said, what took place? And the brother said, man, these are the three things, man, that that, that changed my life. He said, brothers, you have to plan. He said, man, I had to make me a hard plan. I had to draw a line in the sand of what I've been doing, what, what I needed to do, and formulate me a plan. And when I thought, when I when I think about it, man, think about it, brothers. And I want you to ask yourself this question: what's your plan? Like, like even y'all brothers that have, that have crossed the threshold and you have the ideas like, you know what? I think I could do X, Y, Z. Like if I apply myself, I believe I could be a creator. I believe I could own a this. I believe I could be an investor. What's your plan? What's your plan to do that? And when I say what's your plan, meaning, 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 have you written down everything it's going to take to get to that goal? I remember when I started when I started uh, straight path trucking, man. But I had I had man I had probably twenty notebook sheets of paper of of, of, of information. What what my trucks would cost, what my trailers would cost, fuel analysis, what load what, what loads would cost, what you know dispatching rates and all that stuff, man. And I had to get a plan to say, you know what, like 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 what what will lead times be? What will my cost of operating be? What will X Y Z be? What will this be? I had to formulate a plan. And I'm asking you, brothers, these thoughts in your mind that you know you can achieve. It's time to, it's time to th- take these thoughts from just being a plan, I mean, from thoughts, and, and, and implement a plan, create a plan, compose, compose a plan. Put it on paper and think it all the way through. The second thing he said, man, is, he said, brother, once I got that plan, brother said, man, I had to execute that plan to a T because I had to execute that plan to a T, which means he said, brother, I, I couldn't go out no more, man. I had a few women on the roster. I couldn't date no more. I wasn't going out to eat no more. I wasn't doing nothing but executing my plan from sun up to sundown. 
I get up, I go to work, I get off, I work my plan. Brother, you have to have a uh, 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 definite aim, and then you have to have discipline. And as always, brothers, as I talk to y'all, brothers, I'm talking to myself because soul hasn't even scratched the surface on what he's capable of. Haven't even scratched the surface, bro. Of course, I have some milestones. I, I've reached levels of freedom. Haven't even scratched. Haven't even started yet. I, I haven't even started yet, bro. And I know a lot of y'all young brothers and sisters are watching this 21, 25, 27 and saying, oh, you know what, man, I got time when I get when I get 35, when I get 45, when I get 55, you know, I, I, I'll start that business. I, I'll 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 uh, I'll move on these ideas I have. Brother, do it now. I'm seeing people that are I'm seeing brothers and sisters that are teenagers right now winning. Making more than their parents still living in the household. At the same time, it's never too late. When you, th when you think about a lot of the, the, you know, the, the large businesses in the world right now, a lot of these people didn't start until after 40, after 50, some after 60. It made, it made million dollar businesses. So, so for y'all that are saying, you know what, it's too late. I've been on this job 30 years, 35 years. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait it out and retire and try to, and try to cash out on this 401k if the market does what it's supposed to do, what I hope it's doing. Whole time, you still got these ideas in your mind that's been, that's been just, just marinating all this time. I'm talking to you too. 45, 55, 65, 70. Take these ideas, compose a plan, and work that plan. It's, play the game. Like, don't, like, please don't spend your whole life and don't play the game. I'm telling you, a loss is more fulfilling than just watching the game. A loss is more fulfilling than watching the game. You know what I'm saying? And that third thing he told me, brothers, he said, man, once you get your plan, man, once, once you execute that plan, he said, brother, remember to do everything with speed. He said, do everything with speed, meaning when these ideas come, act on it. When these new things come, when these ideas, when these plans, act on it. Don't, don't procrastinate it. And, and if you want to think about, on, think about it on, on, a, on a spiritual level, because it's all tied, man. When these ideas come to you, when source energy, you know, downloads something to you, why would you just sit on it? You've been saying, I want to get to X, Y, Z. I want to get uh, a certain level of financial freedom. I want to be able to lose my, uh, leave my job. I want to be able to do whatever it is. And this idea comes and you just sit on it. Five days, 10 days, five years, 20 years. So all I'm saying, brothers, is this. I mean, I don't really get into, you know, hard resolutions and all that stuff. I believe, I believe that a person should sit, should set their resolution the day it comes to their mind. Hell, if it's January 1st, it's January 1st. But I'm asking you brothers right now to set your resolution on today. I'm, I'm asking you to start planning today. I'm asking you brothers to start executing with speed today. Because I'm telling you brothers, man, playing in the game of life is by far better than watching from the sidelines. <laughs>